Okay, welcome back to the flip class. Today we're going to be talking about area formulas, and we're going to look at a lot of different shapes and figure out how to find the area of the different shapes. But first, you guessed it, another brain teaser. Were you born in a barn? Okay, check it. There are three chickens. There are four cats. There are seven dogs, and there are two people in a barn. How many feet are in the barn? Think about it. Bring it tomorrow. But first, let's jump into some area. Okay, area of a rectangle. You see you have a rectangle here, four inches for the length, three inches for the width. Area of a rectangle is length times width. Three times four, in this case, gives us 12. And when we're talking about area, we're, uh, especially the area of a rectangle, my about area in square units. In this case, our unit is the inch. So, whoops, our answer would be... 12 square inches. Okay, area of a parallelogram. Got a parallelogram here. Area of a parallelogram is base. So we have this is our base, which is three and a half, times height. And you're going from height to the base. In this case, two and one third. And we'll say inches. Okay, so three and a half times one, uh, excuse me, three and a half times two and one third, okay? To make it a little easier on myself, I'm going to make these into, um, these mixed numbers into improper fractions. Two times three is six, plus one is seven, so I have seven halves, seven halves, <laughs> times three times two is six, plus one is seven, times seven thirds, okay? Seven times seven is 49, 2 times 3 is 6, 6 goes into 49 8 times, which would be 48, so there's one left over, denominator stays the same, so I end up with 8 and 1 6 inches squared for the area of this parallelogram. Okay, moving on to the area of a triangle. Area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. So half the product of the base and the height. So here we have a triangle that has a height of 8 centimeters. The base is 12 centimeters. So first we're going to multiply 8 times 12 and we're going to end up with 96. And I know that my area is 1 half of 96. Divide that out. We're looking at 48 centimeters squared. Now, I do just want to point something out real quick to everybody. Obviously, there are multiple um, there are multiple kinds of triangles. So let's say you had an obtuse triangle, something like this. Your base would still be your base, but your height would go from your highest point. So you'd be looking at here to the base. This area here would be your base. Okay, moving on to trapezoids. To find the area of a trapezoid, you take height times the sum of its bases, and I'll explain that in a second, and then it's half of that. So half of height times base 1 plus base 2. Okay, that was complicated, but not that complicated, okay? Check it out. I've given you a trapezoid here. I've given you some figures. Area equals 1 half of the height, which is in this case, 6 meters, times base 1, which is this side, and base 2, which is this side. So we're going to take 4.3 times, excuse me, 10.5. Or excuse me, ah, goof that up. Hey, no one's perfect, right? 4.3 plus 10.5. Okay, scratch that. All right, 10.5 plus 4.3 gives us 14.8. And I've got area equals 1 half 6 times 14.8. 6 times 14.8, let's do the math. 14.8 times 6. 6 times 8, 48. 6 times 4 is 24, plus 4 is 28. Drop the 1, or drop the 8, carry the 2. 6 times 1 is 6, plus 2. 
888. I've got one decimal move, so I've got 88.8. .8. When I multiply these two together, area equals one half. We know this is a really easy one to do. One half times 88.8. .8. Well, half of eight is four, so we're going to end up with 44.4 .4 meters squared. Okay, now I want to talk for just a moment about composite figures. When, it, when you look at a composite figure, okay, I've given you a polygon here. If I wanted to find the area of this, I, I could do some work, okay, or I can make it easier and do what I already know. And I'm gonna, what I'm going to do, by, what I mean by that is what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this in half, so really I have one rectangle and another rectangle. You see I've split it right here. And I know this is three feet, this is five feet, okay, takes care of this one. This rectangle, however, I know is two feet, and my picture is maybe not the best, but that's okay. Two feet as the height. Now I need the width. How do I know what the width of this is? Well, if the width all the way across is six, and the width of this is three, what has to be left? Another three, right? Three plus three would give us six. So I know in this case, three. Okay? So how do I find the area of a rectangle? Length times width. 5 times 3 gives us 15, 3 times 2 gives us 6, but I've got to put these back together. I've got to put this piece back together so I have my original shape. 15 plus 6 gives us 21, in this case feet squared, or square feet. Okay, one more polygon. This one I've done by hand. It's actually the example that's in our book, and I, I, I did that for a reason, but page 545, if you want to look at it in the book, okay? I have what I'd call composite shape here. It's a polygon, and I, I call it a composite shape because if I look at it, if I split it right here, then really I've got my rectangle, and I've got a triangle, okay? And if I want to find the area of a rectangle, I know it's length times width, well, this bottom half is 10, okay, this side is 8, okay, so I know that. 8 times 10 gives me 80. All right, let's move on over to our uh, triangle then. We're going to set the 80 aside. We're going to put a pen in that, okay. I know that because the line that goes all the way through is 13, but I cut it off here, and I cut off this 10. 13 minus 10 gives me 3, because I'm looking for base times height, right? So I know that we're looking at 3. And then I know that this side is the same as this side, so we're looking at 8, okay? Uh, or, excuse me, 1 half base times height. Okay, base times height would give me 24, because I'm doing 8 times 3. 1 half of 24 would give me 12. If I then take the pin out of my 80 and combine them back together, because I want to form my original shape, 80 plus 12 gives me 92, and in this case, centimeters squared. Okay, I know that's a lot of different concepts and a lot of different formulas. We're going to be breaking these down over a couple of different days, but I wanted you to have them all in one place where you can find them and without having to go to different videos. So they're all here. You can check them out. I'll see you next time.